have the, the uh, oh God, I say it all the time, the annual financial reports. Oh, yeah, uh, but no, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about all the couched money, the, the stolen money to, oh. to, to finish it. And you know, all these trillions, they, they can't get, and like they're, they're raking us over the coals with these stimulus packages. They put every yeah. bogus name in the, the, the book yeah. on them. And it's unaccounted for money, and it sums beyond yeah. belief. And we can't just write where it is. Yeah. It's a secret. Yeah. Well. So <laughs> it's their cities they're building for those That's guys. Mm -hmm. yes. All right, on here, what I've done is I've included. It looks like they're in a hurry to finish it. Yeah. Here's all the video clips. Um, here's documentaries. Okay, the, the truth about global warming, John Moore. You must see that. That's really important. Uh, <coughs> great year. That's a great one. Quest for Lost Civilization. Now, this is like a two-hour documentary. This is an hour. This is an hour. Um, so there's a lot of interesting information on here. Science to look for. Uh, increased tidal activity, increased asteroid fireball, sonic boom activity, um, increased cover-up in scandals, deeper disconnects of the people and governments. You're going to get uh, possibly the completion. The Georgia guidelines were never complete. They never finished their time capsule, and they never put an end date on there. So if you see these guys complete that, that's a, that's a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things that I found, since they're running to the Denver airport, okay, anybody can go on the internet and they can get any police scanner in the country over the internet, okay? If you just go to, go to Google and type in Denver scanner, you will pull up the scanner for the Denver airport. Oh, cool. Now, if you listen to that scanner and you become familiar with it, you'll be able to tell when that activity picks up, you'll know it's probably go time, okay? <laughs> When you see the police activity pick up in that area, you know that they're, because that's where the elites are going. I mean, it's obvious that they're running for the hills. Um, Did you other, see Jesse Ventura in yeah, the last one? Yeah, yeah I saw it. I mean, they're pushing that 2012 thing on half the community. So you think that's I think that that's, well, that's a still diversion. Yeah, itself, you know, yeah you that's, that's a good point. A good it's a diversion point. because yeah. they know that people don't prepare for things into like right so before the in. fact. Uh -huh. and okay. be gone and be so <laughs> exactly, what I suspect the one event that I suspect will be the trigger was they will do some sort of event to turn everybody's mind to that, like a 9/11 event. Mm -hmm. Okay, the elites will pull off some sort of major event, and while everybody's concentrating on that, they're going to be running to the hills. That's why they've concentrated on the plane so much. Think about it. If you were a terrorist, okay, two years ago there was an enormous drought all across the West, okay. Couldn't the terrorists just go around popping flares and throwing them out the windows? Mm -hmm. I mean, literally, they could have sparked half of America up on fire. But yet, they missed these so simple things that they could have done, and they concentrate on the planes, the toughest, with all the high security. Why would they concentrate on all this high security stuff when they have so many easy options to use? That's because they're trying to lock down the airports so that when this event happens, they can say, no flying, and all the elites are going to be fine, just like the Bin Laden family flew on that one. Okay. All dead. So uh, basically, my email address is on here. What I'm looking to do is I'm looking to meet some friends that are interested in talking about this, having weekly meetings here at, at the bookstore, and uh, kind of planning around this. I'm moving to Colorado June 1st. Whoever decides to come with me, you what know. What part of Colorado are you going to? I'm going to Denver for now because that's where I have a job. Malhausen? Take us with you. Take us with you. Yeah, yeah, sure. And all the. Uh, yeah, and yeah. and all that. Yeah, no problem. That. Okay. All right, so the Petroglyphs, which is really amazing to me, because this really tells a story. Oh, um, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. You've got all these amazing uh, Petroglyphs of, of uh, devils and spirals. This is actually the page I want to go on. Let me go back to the It's a big place. How big is it? It's, uh, it's, totally. the, it's the <laughs> biggest airport you know, in the, the U.S. Story, so it's about the Denver airport. There's a lot more to it. It's freaking. Yeah, but that's the same thing. All right. Um, so you got uh, this one. This is in New Mexico. Okay. Now keep in mind, once again, before I go in through these, all these petroglyphs are found in the mountainous regions, okay, along the Andes Mountains, 
along the, the Rocky Mountains. They're found west of that, but you don't really find petroglyphs in Texas very much. Well, you do some here, but you don't really find any in Florida or any of the East Coast. What I suspect, my own personal belief, now like I said, it's my conjecture, is I suspect, uh, just like you have the world, you got the moon that goes around the world, a tide follows the moon around the world, okay? If you have a heavy, dense object like a brown dwarf star, a black hole or something, it comes up, the water is going to pile up towards that object because it's liquid. But the world's still going to spin. You got a big mile high wave, but the world's still spinning on its axis underneath that wave. So the water gets drug across the land. And that's why, since the world spins east to west, there's no petroglyphs on that side of the world because the wave will come from the east just like the sun comes from the east. So um, that's most yeah, likely. The civilization was crowded up, bumped up against the high points. Yeah, yeah, they were bumped up into these areas because mm -hmm. that's all the only place they could run. Now, another interesting thing that they found they found out recently was uh, that uh, they found, like at the bottom of the in Utah and stuff, they found all these dinosaurs, millions and millions of them. They were all piled up together, like they'd been washed, washed up to the up, mountains yeah. by a big wave and a wave receded and just left their bodies there. Huge pile. Okay, yeah, huge piles of dinosaurs all intermingled together. Where was that? Uh, like at at the bot at the mountains in Utah and stuff. When? Um, when did they find us? I, I don't remember. I didn't include that in here because I just recently found it, but uh, I don't know. It's been a couple months, I guess. Wow. Uh, so they found all these dinosaur bones all intermingled together. It's pretty amazing. Um, so basically, you have all these. You have all these uh, petroglyphs. Now, remember, it said up in the one that. Um, well, let's see here. Uh, oh, look at this one. It said that there'll be white fingers that come down. Uh, white tentacles. You have the little spiral up here, and you've got the devil character breathing out fire, or whatever. It's like uh, on the bottom left of the dollar bill in the corners on the front. Those little devil things. Oh, yeah. What most people don't know about the, the dollar bill, I wish I had a picture, okay. I should have included it on here. If you look at that eyeball on the back of the dollar with the magnifying glass, you'll notice the eye is a perfect spiral. Just like the Norway spiral you saw. Wow. The eye is a spiral. It just it goes all the way into the center like that. What caused the spiral? <laughs> you got me. All I know is there's something in space that something that do an electromagnetic everything is a spiral. Yeah, it's something so there's something in space that, that doesn't like our planet. Supposedly what I've heard is seen and written I mean seen actually. And it's just like you said when you first showed it. It's actually an encyclopedia, even though NASA and everybody doesn't want you to know about it. There is what they call Planet X, which is stands for 10. And it's three, it comes towards Earth. There's a twin sun, but it's a dark sun way off. Every 3,660 years, this Planet 10 comes real close. But it speeds up once it gets 50% between the dead sun and its twin, our sun. Then it speeds up on our side, and it's already got wobbling. Uranus, Pluto, they're already off their orbit and wobbling. As it comes, it also changes our magnetic field and our orbit, and it comes very, very close. Yeah, it doesn't actually hit Earth. It no, it doesn't, close. but it does it cause a lot of comets and meteorites and all of this, too. Quakes. Well, we can tell him here. He's telling you. And everything. They're telling you to look up. I mean, he's got the arrow going up. <laughs> he got the spiral. They're telling you to look out <laughs> in the spiral. And <laughs> yeah, that explains why we had past civilizations that actually knew about this, and we thought they were just new myths. And now it's coming out again, because there has been probably many past civilizations. Yeah, you have all these associations between devils and spirals and little comet things. And, and um, some of these, like these right here, these are actual reproductions of, of uh, petroglyphs that are in caves that you can't visit anymore for, for uh, uh, you know, they don't want people disturbing it to petroglyphs, but I mean the caves. But I mean, you have an association with the spiral and the dead lizard. Um, look, he looks like he's... He looks like an ant. Yeah, well, it looks like a, to me, it looks like a flower, a plant. And, um, uh, who are the leaves? Oh, spiral dots in the background. Yeah, oh, yeah, you have the spiral dots in the background, too, but you have the spiral here with the, with the waves going up to the bottoms of the mountains. You have the deer. Look, he's hunched over. He, he's, he's running away from it. You got the dead fish. 